Hello and welcome everybody to Adams Field in Quincy, where we have the Ashland Sevens taking on the Medfield River Rats in the championship game of the MIBL Final Four. It is a winner-take-all game, and it is a continuation from last night's game, the third time these two teams have met in this Final Four. And the uh, they have played three games before this, one in the regular season, two, as I said before, in the Final Four. Ashland holding a 2-1 and one record, but Medfield last night finished, uh, finished Ashland off with a 4-1 to one victory that came, or 4-2, to two, I should say, that came with a heaping helping of controversial calls and after the fact judgment from both teams, including a sliding, uh, caught stealing out from Jackson Horning over at second base and what has been talked about on Twitter, the the slide home from Dom Cavanaugh that would have uh, put Ashland at a three to four one run deficit with a runner on third last night. But that's all in the past now. Ashland and uh, Jackson Hornung, I spoke to him earlier, said that they're ready to go tonight and they're trying to look for the W tonight, but I'm sure Medfield isn't gonna be a slouch and they must have saved at least a modicum of pitching for this Ashland lineup. We'll have the lineups and the fields for you as they take the field. They're setting ground rules right now. They being the coaches, the Ashland coach, Jake Obid, in his second year at the helm here and looking to capitalize on what was already a pretty stellar previous season. They came in second in the Legion State Tournament last year, falling to Lowell. But this year, they're even though we're not playing Legion technically because the Legion season was canceled, this is the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League, we still are looking for the number one win. And uh, in the huddle, the other day, Jake Obed said, none of these guys want anything less than first place. And I can't imagine that that has changed since then. But these Medfield players, they are just as ferocious with the bats. They got everything going last night with the help of Ben Leonard and Nick Sheehan in particular behind the, in the batter's box. They were, especially Nick Sheehan, had some fantastic base running yesterday. Ashland, I feel like one of the reasons that they fell to Medfield yesterday was that they were not up to par with their usual infield excellency, I should say. There was a couple of dropped fly balls, couple of overthrows, couple of errors made, and that's just not the, uh, the sloppiness that we're used to seeing from Ashland, as well as some risky base running. We like to, to, we like to harp on the aggressive base running of coach Jake Obed as Ashland takes the field right now but last night there were a multitude of calls that were risky and could have gone either way but did not go Ashland's way and ultimately cost them a bunch of runners left on base and eventually the game. So we have Tyler Dossis on the mound tonight. He has continually pitched gems for Ashland. In the previous Medfield game during the regular season he went all seven innings and in the deciding Hyde Park game last Sunday in which Ashland was also down a game and if they had lost one more game would not even be here in the final four, Tyler Dossis went the complete game yet again. And Dossis is notorious for barely giving the, the hitter any time in the plate. He just, he just deals. What you're seeing right now on the mound is Probably a little faster, but not much faster than the tempo he'll be pitching at today. And of course, behind the plate, we have Jackson Hornung, who's been the catcher for the Sevens this entire Final Four. Over at first base, we have Dom Cavanaugh. At second base, we have Nick Larsh, who is getting the start today. And uh, we have neither of the Dushney brothers out there, which is odd to see. At shortstop, we have Dante Devonzo, who has not played too many games with the Sevens this season because of prior AAU commitments, but he's been here for most of the Final Four, and he's had a good couple of days at the, at the, uh, in the batter's box and as well as at shortstop. Third base, we have Shea Donovan. And then from left to right, we have Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, and Nick Calabrese. 
As the aforementioned Nick Sheehan going to step in for Medfield today. Medfield, the away team, Ashland, the home team. Even though both of these teams, uh, even though it is a winner take all, Ashland still has the head to head and the seeding advantage. So they're going to take home. And the first pitch is in there for strike one. Wind up in the pitch from Dossis. Down and outside, ball one. Now Sheehan, as we've seen, he knows how to get on base. But both of these teams probably very familiar with each other by this point. This is hit up the third base line, and it's going to split the gap into left field. That just got by Donovan there. And a stand-up base hit for Nick Sheehan, the third baseman. That's going to bring up Max Goodman. Goodman, the second baseman. And Dossis taking a look over to first from the stretch. And he deals. Outside, ball one. Good pitch from Dossis upstairs for ball two. Quite a few lefties on this Medfield squad. So that could give Dossis a fair bit of trouble because it's a little bit abnormal. Breaking pitch in there for a strike. Two and one. Sheehan taking a lead off of first. This is hit on the ground to the shortstop. Flip the one for two over to first base. And they got him, doubled him up. Nice play from Dante Devonzo and a even better throw down from Nick Larsh. Already making an impact as he gets his first start of the tournament here. So two outs in the inning for Dennis Folan, the designated hitter. A 6-4-3 double play as Folan takes strike one. This is hit foul on the first baseline. So a quick two outs after a Dante Devonzo Nick Larsh double play. Dossis wind up in the pitch. This is hit in the air, far into right field, but ranging over and making the catch is Nick Calabrese. And that's going to put an end to the top of the first. We'll see you in the bottom of the second on WACA-TV, HCAM, and HCAT. Bottom of the first, Ashland with their first at bat, and leading things off is going to be Dante Devonzo, the shortstop. Get the Medfield Diamond for you in just a second. So we have Thomas Shirtliff on the mound for Medfield today as Devonzo takes strike one. Shirtliff on the mound. We have Mike Giglio, the catcher. Over at first base, we have Jack McDonald. Max Goodman over at second as Devonzo chases that one for strike two. Shortstop, we have Jack Goodman. Uh, Nick Sheehan over at third. And then from left to right, we have Ben Leonard, Sam Palmer, and Ryan Murray. Wind up in the pitch. And he went for strike three. A three-pitch strikeout to start it off for Thomas Shirtliff. That's going to bring up Sam Farrell. And the rest of the Ashland batting lineup is as follows. We have Sam Farrell at two. Jackson Horning, the catcher, at three. Dom Cavanaugh, the cleanup man at four, as he, uh, Sam Farrell takes strike one. Tyler Dossis, the pitcher at five. Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Nick Larsh, the second baseman. And rounding things out in the nine spot is the right fielder, Nick Calabrese, as the breaking pitch is in there for strike two. Shirtleff has only thrown strikes so far. 0-2 on to Farrell. Wind up in the pitch. Hit foul. Farrell is one of the speediest members of the Sashline 7 squad. You love to have him on base just because you realize that he's probably going to get a bag or two off of a steal minimum. And if he's in scoring position, he's more than likely making it home on a base hit. 
Is this hit in the air to the center fielder? Ranging over and making the catch no problem is Sam Palmer. Two outs in the inning. Going to bring up Jackson Hornung, the slugger for Ashland. One of the sluggers, I should say. Jackson, as I mentioned before, involved in a, uh, a controversial call where he was thrown out, caught stealing as he slid into second. It was a close play, but the umpire did have a pretty good view of it last night, but it was a pretty momentum-changing instance as Hornung takes strike one, one and one. Shirt left trying to go one, two, three. This is in the dirt for ball two. Coach Obin on the third baseline and first base coach Andrew Keim on the first baseline. This is foul tipped or strike two, two and two. Wind up in the pitch from Shirtleff. In the dirt, that's going to fill up the count. And Medfield has played, I believe, four games in three days. Maybe three games in two days. As this is hit too far left field, and it's going to get down. It's going to go against the wall, and... Horning is going to get a two-out double. He's going for three. No, he's going to be stopped at second. But an overthrow, and Horning's going to be caught on the base path and a pickle now. And he's hit with the ball. And he's going to take third because of it. Oh, whacked on the head by a ball. But he looks to be all right. That was lucky. Caught in a pickle. <laughs> caught in a pickle, and Horning manages to get three bags out of after being held up at second. So a two out triple for Horning is gonna bring up the cleanup man, Dom Kavanaugh. This is a great position to get up early as Kavanaugh takes ball one. Horning does have the wheels to steal home on a pass ball. This is in the dirt for ball two. With two outs, that is exactly what, you, what you're asking for out of Hornung as this is hit on the ground to the third baseman. Throw over to first is in time. Ashland not going to score one. And we are scoreless as we have played one inning. We'll see you in the top of the second. Top of the second here. And four, five, and six do up for Medfield. A spot of luck put Hornung at third base last inning but unfortunately Ashland couldn't capitalize off of it. And we are still scoreless. Dossis out there yet again, going against Sam Palmer, the center fielder. Wind up in the pitch from Dossis. Breaking pitch in there for a strike, one and one. Now, Doss is not necessarily a hard pitcher to make contact with, but he's a hard pitcher to get on base against, it seems like. As this is hit, as I say that, it is hit up the middle and splits the gap into center field for a leadoff base hit from Sam Palmer. Man, I got to stop saying things like that. But Dossus, by and large, you saw it in the in the Hyde Park game, especially last Sunday, where the Hyde Park hitters, even though they were on fire and they were making contact, they just couldn't get it past the infield, as this is going to get past the infield and fielded by Nick Calabrese. A base hit for Ben Leonard, and Sam Palmer is going to be pushed up to second. The bats are going for the River Rats here early. 
Jack McDonald, the first baseman, going to step in. Pitch from Dossus upstairs, ball one. Doss is taking a little bit more time than we're used to here. Hit to Devonzo, the shortstop, flip to first, second for one, and over to first, and they double him up yet again. Devonzo has been lights out in shortstop. Made some pretty key plays, but that is going to push Sam Palmer up to third. It's going to bring up Jack Goodman, the shortstop. Quick conference from Coach Obed and Jackson Hornung with Tyler Dossis. So another 6-4-3 double play. It's going to put two outs on the inning with Sam Palmer over at third base. Jack Goodman has been trouble for Ashland. It's one of those hitters that always seems to make it on base, regardless of the count, regardless of the out number, regardless of the odds that are stacked against him. So he takes strike one. Pitch from Dossus, swinging strike two. Still scoreless here in the top of the second. Dossus looking to get out of this inning without any damage done. Wind up in the pitch, down low. Pitch from Doss, a swinging strike three, and he got him. Still scoreless, we're gonna head to the bottom of the second. A lot of fantastic defense from Ashland is giving them the advantage. We'll see in the, uh, the bottom of the second. Bottom of the second, Tyler Doss to the plate for the sevens. Doss, in addition to being fantastic behind the mound, has just been electric in the batter's box for the sevens in this final four tournament. As he hits this uh, through the diving shortstop of Medfield, but it's gonna get by him into left field for a leadoff base hit. It's a nice bid there from Jack Goodman. Definitely would have been a highlight play if he managed to Range over just a few feet more to his right. It's going to bring up Shea Donovan, and he's going to get hit on the first pitch. First and second with no outs. First hit batter of the day for Shirtliff. That's going to bring up Kevin Balowitz. Balowitz has been trusty over in left field and has done pretty much what you need him to do at the plate. As this is a blooper to shallow right field, it's going to get over the second baseman. And bases are loaded with no outs for Ashland here, just like that. Another great bid from Max Goodman. But the Goodman brothers, if, if they are brothers, uh, just narrowly out of reach for them. And that's going to bring up Nick Larsh, who, as I said before, doesn't normally get the start, especially in the winner-take-all championship game, but he had a fantastic game against Franklin, I believe, where he got the call and came in as a sub and just absolutely decimated the Franklin pitcher, helped Ashland to a mercy win over there. 
0-2 on Larsh upstairs. Wind up in the pitch from shirt left. This is hit on the ground to the second baseman. One's going home, but they're going to get him. Fantastic play from Max Goodman. Got the force out at home. One out, but bases are still loaded as Larsh did reach there. Nick Calabrese coming up to bat. He's the guy you want in this situation. Read you his stats in just a second. The bats are going for Ashland here. Three hits in the inning. This is fouled behind the backstop, one and one. Nick Calabrese batting a 538 with a 591 on base percentage. It's just been absolutely stellar in that nine spot and had some fantastic defensive plays earlier in the tournament over in right field. As this is hit on the first base line, it's a fair ball. Ashland coming around to score one, and Balowitz will score two. It's a two-nothing lead for Ashland off of a one-out base hit, uh, double, two RBI double, I should say, for Nick Calabrese. That's what he's done all season. It's been so fantastic, and that's going to bring up the top of the order in Dante Diavanzo. Nick Larsh over to third base as well. Ashland to a quick 2-0 lead here in the bottom of the second as Devonzo takes one upstairs for ball one. In the dirt for ball two. The runners are going to stay put. No sense in really sending any runner and risking what could be two more runs of insurance early in the game here. Pitch from shirt left. Foul behind the backstop. Two and one on to Devonzo. He struck out in his first at bat. Wind up in the pitch. This is a pass ball, but Ashland learned from yesterday, and they're not going to have another close play at the plate that doesn't go their way. Runners are going to stay put yet again, 3-1 and one on to Diavonzo. And this is hit on the ground. Fantastic play from the shortstop to throw home. And they got him there. Wow, the Goodman brothers doing it all for Medfield here. Jack Goodman with a fantastic diving play. And the throw home was in time, two outs. First and second for Sam Farrell here. He flew out in his last at bat. It has been a two run bottom of the second for Ashland here, but they have runners on base. They could add to it as that's down low for ball one. It was Nick Larsh who got tagged out at home plate. The pitch from shirt left. This is fouled behind the backstop. And Calabrese is Definitely also one of the speedier members of this seven squad, so he'll probably score on a base hit. Upstairs, two and one. Two outs in the inning for Ashland. 
Both of those outs have come at home plate from some fantastic plays from Max and Jack Goodman at second base and shortstop. This is hit on the ground, foul. Two and two. Shirt left looking to get out of the inning with no more damage done. Lined up in the pitch. That's above Farrell's head for ball three. It's going to fill up the count. Both runners taking a pretty big lead, especially Calabrese. It's going to make sure left step off the mound. Calabrese was a third of the way to third base. Ashland trying to maybe force an overthrow as both runners are going to go off, but Farrell is going to strike out. It's going to put an end to the inning, but not before Ashland plates two runs. We're going to head to the top of the third on WACA, HCAM, and HCAT. Top of the third, Ashland has a two to nothing lead after a bunch of hits coming through in the bottom of the second. But Medfield looking to respond here. We have Ryan Murray, the right fielder, up at bat right now. Breaking pitch up high for Tyler Dossus. Strike one, one and one. One and two, the count on to Ryan Murray. Ashland had three hits last inning. One walk, two runs, and two left on base. And it could have been much worse if not for Jack and Max Goodman. Made some fantastic defensive diving plays at shortstop and second base to keep Ashland honest as this is going to trickle up the gap between first and second base and it's a leadoff base hit for Ryan Murray. Bats are going on both sides here. Netfield has a good amount of hits as well as Mike Gillio, the catcher takes strike one. Line up in the pitch from Dossis down low for ball one. Pitch from Dossis. It's a bunt. And the throw over to first is in time. Well done from Dossis. That is going to push Murray up to second. Nice play from Dossis there. So often you see those kind of plays get messed up because barehanding the ball with your throwing arm, sometimes the ball gets flips out of your hand or the throw isn't on time or an overthrow or something like that. But it was a routine play for Dossis for out number one. So we have top of the order in Nick Sheehan. So he takes strike one. Foul, 0-2. Oh Ryan Murray over at second base. Dossis takes a look and caught the inside corner for strike three. Two outs in the inning for Max Goodman. Max Goodman hit into a double play in his last at bat. Second strikeout of the day for Tyler Dossis. He's hit on the ground and fielded by Kavanaugh. Step on the bag, no problem. For out number three, we're going to head to the bottom of the third. Ashland maybe 
building some momentum and adding to their two to nothing lead. We'll see you then. Bottom of the third, Jackson Hornung in the three, four, and five due up for Ashland. Hoping to continue a pretty massive bottom of the second for Ashland as they played at two runs. That's foul tipped into the backstop for strike one. Medfield, it should be noted, has also been responding with the bats, but Ashland has just not been making as many mistakes defensively as they did yesterday. As this is whacked into center field, ranging back and not able to make the catch. Jackson is going to get another leadoff double. Or excuse me, it was a triple last time, and it was not a leadoff, but another massive base hit for him. Hornung is definitely on today. And that is a scary thing if you're Medfield. Another guy that would be scary if he's on is at the plate right now, and Dom Cavanaugh's. He takes a ball inside. Cavanaugh grounded out in his last at bat. He's had some pretty highlight moments this tournament as well. Inside again, ball two. Shirt left has been pretty good on the mound the past couple innings. Is this hit on the ground to the third baseman, fielded by Sheehan, and throw over is good. Nice play from Nick Sheehan in this Medfield defense. Ashland's given it all they got, and they've only gotten two runs out of it. This Medfield defense is almost equally as impenetrable. Another 5-3 to three ground out for Kavanaugh, and that's going to bring up Tyler Dossus who has been red hot with the bat, in addition to ever consistent on the mound, as we've seen this game, fouled into the backstop. Pitch from Shirtliff in the dirt, but Horning was gonna stay at second. Dossus steps back in. One out in the inning, one on for the sevens. It's down low for ball two. These are good misses for Shirtliff. Just barely staying inside for a couple pitches and just barely down low for another one. That's inside for ball three. These Ashland hitters are disciplined. And a telltale sign if Ashland is nervous or maybe not playing their best is if they start swinging making contact really early in the count, and that does not seem to be the case today as Shirtleff has had a couple four or five pitch at bats. Wind up in the pitch. This is hit in the air to the right fielder and caught for out number two. It was shallow right field. Good stuff from Ryan Murray ranging over and making the catch. It's going to bring up Shea Donovan, who was hit by a pitch in his last at bat. Down low, ball one. Takes a strike, one and one. And if Shirtliff starts to struggle, this is where the where the uh, the questions come in. And does Medfield really have enough arms rested to accurately match up with this Ashland lineup? Because Medfield has had to play a lot of elimination games over the past couple days, and all of them they've had to throw some of their best pitchers out there in order to contend. 
So Shirtleff is not struggling yet, but if he does start to struggle, you gotta wonder how many replacements he does have. Two and one to Donovan as he's gonna foul that behind the backstop. Almost hits a car who is driving by. This is hit to the third baseman. Throw over to first, and just barely. Shea Donovan almost had that, but great throw over from Nick Sheehan is gonna put an end to the inning. Horning is gonna be left on base, and we're gonna head to the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth for midfield. We have Dennis Folan, the designated hitter, at bat right now as he takes ball one down low from Tyler Dossus. Dossus and Shirt left both with two strikeouts on the day. 2-0 and oh on to Folan. Folan flew out in his last at bat. Medfield looking to see if they can get back into it here. Breaking pitch down low again for three straight balls. Presumably going to take the strike here. Three and one. Outside, and Folan's gonna draw the walk. First walk of the day for Dossus. Sam Palmer, the center fielder, steps in. Palmer had a single in his last at bat and made it all the way to third, but was left on base. Takes strike one. Still a two to nothing lead for Ashland here. But these games have been close between these two teams. Almost all of them is that one's inside one and one. They've all been within just a couple of runs of each other, even in the regular season and in this final four as this is hit to center field. Ranging back and making the catch is Sam Farrell. Sam Farrell's got the wheels. It takes a lot to put a ball behind him. It's gonna bring up Ben Leonard, the left fielder. Leonard singled in his first at bat, but was caught up in a double play. This is hit in the air to the left fielder, ranging over and making the catch is Kevin Balowitz for out number two. And Medfield kind of doing a little bit of what I criticized Ashland for doing in the past, which is swinging at a lot of early pitches, not really letting the, the count build at all, which can be all right if you're trying to mount some pressure or build some momentum, but doesn't really work out if you're really trying to work Dossus like they should be. It's gonna bring up Jack McDonald, and this is gonna split the gap, get by Diavonzo for a two out base hit. Excuse me, that was Ben Leonard. Or excuse me, no, that's Jack Goodman. I'm getting all my players mixed up here. Upstairs for ball one. Dossus takes a look at second, and he deals in there for a strike. Goodman struck out in his last at bat. Two 
Two outs in the inning. This is fouled behind the backstop. And we are wary of all the cars that are parked behind Adams Field. Car did get hit last night, but there have been a ton of narrow misses. One and two to Goodman. And he chases this one, but hits it foul. The one and two to Goodman. Goodman had a stellar day, or a stellar day defensively, I should say. So he takes ball two. And I have received confirmation that Max Goodman and Jack Goodman are indeed brothers. They have both put on a show at second base and shortstop back in the second as this is hit foul along the third baseline. Two and two. Goodman is battling here with two outs in the top of the fourth. Dossis gets the sign. Looks at second and deals. Hit foul yet again, the battle continues. Dossis from the stretch. Two on, two outs. This is hit on the ground to the shortstop. And the second baseman was not there. And misplay from Kavanaugh throw home. And he got he did not get him. That's a tough play from Ashland. Defensively, the rotations weren't there. Nick Larsh didn't go over to cover second. And so Devonzo looked for the easy throw, was not there. Instead tried to throw over to first, but had too much mustard on it and Kavanaugh couldn't make the catch. Runner comes around and scores, making it a one to two game. Some of that sloppy defensive play from Ashland we saw yesterday coming back to rear its head. This is fouled behind the backstop. Ryan Murray at the plate now. So Jack Goodman reaches on the error. And Dennis Folan comes all the way around to score. It's also gonna put Jack McDonald up to third. Ryan Murray, the lefty, one and two on to him. Dossis trying to get out of the jam here. Foul behind the backstop, one and two still. And it seems like that problem of swinging early in the count has been rectified a little bit as Goodman had a multiple pitch at bat. And Goodman doing the same. Wind up in the pitch from Dossis. This is hit into right field. Ranging over is Calabrese and makes the catch. Medfield plates one, and it is a one to two game as we're going to head into the bottom of the fourth on WACA TV in Ashland, HCAM in Hopkinton, and HCAT in Holliston. Seven, eight, and nine do up for Ashland. Kevin Balowitz leading things off in this bottom of the fourth. Medfield plated one in the last inning due to a error. Dante Diavonzo fielded the ball over at shortstop, looked over to get the runner advancing to second, but Nick Larsh was not there. Instead tried to throw over to first to get the routine out, but it was a little bit too late and a little bit too much mustard on it, and Dom Kavanaugh could not make the catch. That drove the runner from third, 
to go home. And Kavanaugh tried to make the throw over to Jackson Hornung, but it was not in time, and a run scored. Going to make it a 1-2 to two game. We have Kevin Balowitz at the plate right now with a 1-1 one to one count. Shirtlift still out there. He's pitched a good game thus far. Wind up at the pitch. Swinging strike from Balowitz, one and two. Wind up in the pitch. Ooh, breaking pitch. Called ball by the umpire. Two and two. And Balowicz chases this one, but the catcher loses it. Going to try to throw it on to first. No, he does not try to throw it on to first. And Balowicz makes it on the swinging pass ball. So pass ball from the catcher allows Balowicz to advance to first. It's going to bring up Nick Larsh. Tried for a bunt, but faked it. Takes ball one. Nick Larsh reached third, but was thrown out trying to go home on a fielder's choice back in the second. Checking it first. Runner is back safe. Pitch from Shirtleff in there for strike one. One and one onto Larsh. Tried for a bunt again, but it's upstairs for ball two. Coach Obed trying to get Balowitz into scoring position for Nick Calabresi, it looks like. But if he can get Larsh on base, that's a plus. This is hit down the right the first base line, and it's fair. Balowitz going over to third. That's where he'll stay. As Ryan Murray hits his cut. Base hit from Nick Larsh is going to push Balowitz up to third with no outs in the inning for Nick Calabresi. Calabresi, definitely the guy you want at the plate if you're Ashland. Now, Ashland, this is... Yesterday they were caught in so many situations. This is hit on the ground. And foul. The behind the plate umpire made that call. But it was a close one. But Ashland was caught in a lot of situations like this. No outs and a bunch of runners on base. But they had some risky base running plays that did not pay off yesterday. And ended up losing them the game if they just play a little bit more conservative on the base path. That might be the key to winning this game. Nick Calabresi at the plate. Had a two RBI single in his last at bat. Upstairs for ball one. One and one the count. Larsh with a healthy lead off of first. Wind up in the pitch from Shirtleff. This is hit in the air to the left fielder. Foul, but is caught. Balowitz thought about tagging, but the throw in is on the mark. Nice play from Mike Giglio, who is moved. Or excuse me, it's not Mike Giglio. Mike Giglio is... Still playing catcher, Ben Leonard. 
over in left field, making a brilliant play. Calabrese flies out, so one out for Dante Diavonzo here. Coach Obed having a word with him. And Ashland has known to do, been known to do the suicide squeeze, and this would be a prime opportunity to do it, to give them two runs of insurance. Medfield gonna have a little huddle here. Can't imagine that Medfield coach is gonna take the ball. Shirtlift has pitched a good game thus far and does not really have any signs of struggling. Maybe just wants a word with his infield. Still a one to two game with Ashland in the lead in this bottom of the fourth. And Devonzo to the plate. He's aver averaging 300 with a 364 on base percentage. It's gonna be on Nick Sheehan if Ashland does choose to go for that suicide squeeze. Either that or Shirtliff and, and Pitcher. This is hit on the ground. It's gonna get by Sheehan, but fielded by the shortstop. Throw over to first is in time. Two outs in the inning now. Two runners in scoring position for Sam Farrell. Sam Farrell 0 for 2 on the day. Good play from Jack Goodman, backing up Nick Sheehan, who was playing in, and the eventuality of the suicide squeeze. Takes strike one, Farrell does, one and one. This is a tough situation if you're Ashland. This is hit foul for strike two. One and two. Two runners in scoring position, two outs. Be big if Ashland could get some insurance here. And Sam Farrell is usually the guy who can get on base no matter what. And it hit him. Farrell gonna make the trip down to first base after he got tagged. That's gonna load up the bases with two outs. Now Farrell, as I said, usually the one to get down to first base by any means and very often is a victim of those hit by pitches. And that's gonna bring up Jackson Hornung, who is not the man you wanna see at the plate right now. As he takes a called ball. Jackson Horner, two for two with a triple and a double on the day. Takes strike one. So Balowitz over at third. We have Nick Larsh at second. And we have Sam Farrell at first with two outs here. In the dirt for ball two. Balowitz held up at third. As I said before, Jake Obed probably not wanting to force any close plays at the plate after what happened yesterday. Two and one to Jackson Hornung. And Shirtlift steps off the mound. Hornung with a 385 batting average, a 507 on base percentage. Wind up in the pitch. This is hit to the second baseman and caught. Could have been trouble, but a good play from Max Goodman. And Shirtlift gets out of the inning with no damage done. Quite a jam he found himself in. We are still knotted at two to one. Ashland leading as we head into the top of the fifth. 
Tyler Doss is out there again as we're in the top of the fifth. Ashland still with a two to one lead. This game has been close as all the other games have been close between Medfield and Ashland here. That's inside for ball one. On to Mike Giglio, the catcher. Giglio grounded out in his first at bat as he takes ball two. Breaking pitch for strike one. Lined up in the pitch from Dossis, a bunt. And called foul. Two and two on to Giglio. Shea Donovan was ready for the throw down to first on that bunt. Lined up in the pitch. Hit back to Doss as he barehands it. Easy throw to first for out number one. Doss is showing off a little bit on that. Making it look very effortless, and that's another one to three for Giglio. Nick Sheehan to the plate. One for two on the day. Was caught in a double play back in the first. Takes ball one. Breaking pitch, strike one. Sheehan is a menace on the base path. That's a pass ball, two and one. Definitely been a four in an Ashland side on the base path. Fantastic in that one spot Sheehan has been. Dasa steps off the mound. Had a 6 p.m. start today, which is a little earlier than normal. She so takes strike two. Two and two. Lined up in the pitch from Dossis. This is hit on the ground to Donovan. Makes the play. Throw over to first is no problem. Two outs in the inning for Medfield. It's going to bring up Max Goodman. And the two Goodman brothers have had a stellar defensive day. Max Goodman is 0 for 2. Hit into a double play and grounded out. Upstairs for ball one. Good eye on Max Goodman there. Breaking pitch, strike one. That's a pie for a called ball. Two and one. Swinging strike, or foul, excuse me, tip that. Two and two. Two outs in the inning here for Medfield. Dossus gets the sign and deals. This is hit in the air, third base side. Donovan tries, good bid from him. Still two and two. These Medfield hitters are battling today. Stasa steps off the mound for a sec. Dossus gets the sign and deals. This is hit right up the middle for a two-out base hit for Max Goodman. He's going to bring up Dennis Folan. Scored the only run of the day.
off of a Jack Goodman error. Hit behind the backstop, one and one. Doss is from the stretch. This is whacked into center field. Ranging back and making the catch is Farrell for out number three. Gonna head into the bottom of the fifth. Ashland still maintaining that two to one lead. We'll see you there. Bottom of the fifth, this game moving right along here. So I was saying before, we had a 6 p.m. start time here at Adams Field in Quincy. A little earlier than our usual 8 p.m. games that we've been accustomed to in this Final Four tournament. Dom Cavanaugh out of the plate for Ashland. Inside, breaking pitch called ball. That's a rough call for Medfield. That's in there for strike one. Dom Cavanaugh over two on the day. Both times is grounded out to the third baseman. Upstairs, two and one. Little insurance for Ashland is probably what they're looking for here is they are the home team, but down low, three and one. Even though they are the home team, it's a one run lead and that's probably not always gonna be enough against a good midfield team. That's ball four up, up high. Try to get him swinging with the high cheese there, didn't work out. And Kavanaugh reaches on the walk. It's gonna bring up Tyler Dossis, one for two. As I said before, Dossus has been fantastic with the bat in this Final Four tournament. Takes strike one. A heater from Shirtleff, who is out there for his fifth inning of work. But I believe Medfield does have some action in the dugout. This is hit foul. 0 oh and 2. No outs in the inning. Kavanaugh at first base. Shirt left steps off the mound. It's a sign he likes and deals. Hit foul by Dossus. Still an 0 2 count here. These Ashland hitters have been working up their counts against Thomas Shirtleff. Kavanaugh takes off for second, but this is gonna split the gap up the middle. And Kavanaugh, because he got that lead, tried to steal second, he makes it to third easily. Dossus with a two strike base hit. Love to see that if you're an Ashland fan is Kavanaugh up to third for Shea Donovan. Shea Donovan 0 for one but was hit by a pitch. Down low for ball one. Jay Donovan, the hustle player for this Ashland 7 squad, usually giving it all he can at third base, as we saw last inning where he almost had a foul ball. This is hit on the ground to the third baseman. A brilliant throw, but 
or a brilliant catch, but a bad throw from Nick Sheehan, and a run is going to score for Ashland. That is very unlike Nick Sheehan over at third base. He's been so consistent. And still no outs in the inning. Ashland going to play to run, making it a 3-1 to one lead. And Shea Donovan going to reach on the error. He could have doubled them up if the, if the throw was on the mark. But Tyler Doss is up to second for Kevin Balowitz. Balowitz one for one. Reached on an error as well. We have some discussion on the mound. Is this going to be it for Shirtleff? Doesn't look like it, but can't imagine the leash is too long. Shirtleff had a pretty good day, but he is starting to falter a little bit. Two pretty vital errors in the game for Medfield, though. As this is whacked, and it's going to split the gap deep into right field. Both the runners are going to come around. Ashland blowing this game open. Two runs are going to score. A no out, two RBI triple for Kevin Balowitz. This Ashland bench and Ashland stands are electric right now. Five to one the lead for Ashland in this bottom of the fifth. Alowitz hasn't been spectacular in the batter's box, but he hasn't been bad either. But because of him, this game just got blown wide open. He's definitely made his mark in this Final Four championship game. Two RBI triple for Balowitz. And that's four runs of insurance for Ashland. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Still no outs in the bottom of the fifth for Nick Larsh. Two for two on the day. This is hit in the air to the center fielder, ranging back and making the catch, but Balowitz is going to tag, and he will do so. A 6-1 to one lead for Ashland. And the bases are clear with one out. Also, how about Shea Donovan showing off the wheels and scoring from first base? This is hit in the air, foul. It's going to bring up Nick Calabresi, one for two on the day. Also had two RBIs. This is whack to the Ashland dugout. This is going to be hit up the middle for another base hit from Nick Calabrese, padding his stats even more even in his last game. One out in the inning, runner on first base for the top of the order in Dante Diavanzo, and you got to imagine this is going to be the leash with Thomas Shirtleff. Pitched a good game up till now, but it's just kind of fallen apart in this bottom of the fifth. And that will be it. We're going to have a new pitcher for Medfield. To get you everything you need to know. But a good game for Thomas Shetliff, Shirtliff. Excuse me. And we'll be right back. New pitcher out there for Medfield. We have Drew Cookson, number 33. And 
top of the order for Ashland, we have Dante Devonzo. Takes strike one. Of course, we have Nick Calabrese at first base. Devonzo, one for three on the day. This is hit in the air, foul territory, and it's going to drop. Oh and two on to Devonzo. Cookson takes a look at first and Calabrese. Just flew down to second base, a stolen bag for Nick Calabrese. That was upstairs for ball one, one and two onto Dante Diavanzo. Maybe the first stolen bag, unless I'm missing one. And Diavanzo gonna go down by way of the K. We're out number two in this massive bottom of the fifth for Ashland. It's gonna bring up Sam Farrell, who is 0 for 2, but was hit by a pitch back in the fourth. I don't have any other stolen bases on my stat sheet here, but it could have been possible that I missed one. That's just, it's just crazy to me that the Ashland Sevens only have one stolen base in five innings. But that's definitely a lesson learned from yesterday. Sam Farrell to the plate now, 2-0. Nice pitch from Drew Cookson for strike one. This has hit foul, ranging over, but it is going to drop in foul territory left field. But Calabrese was all the way home, so he's gonna, he's gonna have to make the trip back to second. That is what they mean when they say running on contact, which is the standard thing to do when there's two outs. and gets the sign he likes. Takes a look over at second and steps off the bag. Or steps off the mound, excuse me. Calabrese has to step back on the bag. The pitch from Cookson. Breaking pitch in there for strike three and he's gonna get out of the inning with no more damage done, but not before Ashland plates four more runs to make it a six to one game. We'll see you in the top of the sixth. Top of the sixth for Medfield, looking to respond after Ashland had a four run bottom of the fifth. And we got the stats for Thomas Shirtleff here. He went five and two thirds of an inning with two strikeouts, one walk, two hit batters, and six runs, four of which were earned. So we have Tyler Dossis still on the mound, up high to Sam Palmer, the right fielder. Palmer is one for two on the day. Breaking pitch for strike one. Six to one lead for Ashland as Medfield down to their final six outs here. Fouled into the backstop, one and two. These Ashland bats have been Red hot today. Some fantastic contributions from Nick Larsh, who we don't normally see, from Kevin Balowitz, who we do usually see, but we don't usually see two RBI triples from Kevin Balowitz. And uh, of course, Jackson Hornung and Shea Donovan, Tyler Dossis, pretty much most of the hitters that came up last inning did their job and 
did it well. Three and two, full count. This is hit in the air over by us. Right behind us. But of course, Shea Donovan over at third base, still thinking he can make a play on it. And we filmed four games here, I believe, maybe five games here at Adams Field in Quincy, and that is definitely the closest it's come to hitting us. As this is whacked to center field, but ranging back and making the catch is Sam Farrell for out number one. Like I said before, it takes a lot to get a ball behind Sam Farrell. Probably the speediest member of this Ashland Sevens team. It's gonna bring up Mike Giglio. Giglio is 0 for 2 on the day. It was part of a highlight where he hit the ball right back at Dossus and Dossus hit it with his, he gloved it with his bare hand. Easy throw over to first. One and one. Breaking pitch for strike two. Dossus lined up in the pitch down low. Pitch from Dossus, hit on the ground. Foul, just barely foul. Donovan almost made a play on it, but heard the call and backed off. Two and two on to Giglio. After a massive bottom of the second and a massive bottom of the fifth, Ashland still with a six to one lead here as this is hit high in the air. Diovanzo ranging over and making the catch for out number two. It's gonna bring up Nick Sheehan, who is one for three on the day. Of course, you can't put all the blame on one player. Absolutely not, especially on Nick Sheehan because he has been such a instrumental part of, or excuse me, this is Jack McDonald. Looks like they moved around the lineup a little bit. But this is top of the order for Medfield. So this is hit on the ground, fielded by Shea Donovan. Throw over to first is in time. Medfield goes one, two, three, and we're gonna head to the bottom of the seventh, or sixth, excuse me. Ashland still with a six to one lead. And we'll catch you there on WACA TV in Ashland, HCAM in Hopkinton, and HCAT in Holliston. Bottom of the sixth for Ashland, still maintaining a six to one lead here at Adams Field. This is the championship game, winner take all. And Medfield down to their final three outs after this inning of action. As Drew Cookson, the relief in there, and deals a strike to Jackson Hornung. I want to clarify that I messed up my stat sheet last inning because it is illegal to move around your batting order. So that was Ben Leonard, Jack McDonald, and Jack Goodman who were the batter's last inning. Strike two onto Hornung. And Drew Cookson is dealing right now. Two strikeouts on two batters for him. Hornung two for three on the day as he fouls this one behind the backstop. Just misses a car. One and two onto Horning. This 
This is hit in the air. Shallow center field, ranging over and making the catch is Jack Goodman, the shortstop. It's going to bring up Dom Kavanaugh, who was who led things off last inning in the massive bottom of the fifth with a walk. He's 0 for 2 with that walk. He rips this one up the third base line for a base hit. One out base hit for Kavanaugh. It's going to bring up Tyler Dossus. Dossus is two for three as well on the day. Just having a fantastic postseason all around. Kavanaugh taking a healthy lead off of first base. Pitch from Cookson. This is hit foul. Coach Obed could not make the play, unfortunately. And a bad throw back to the pitcher. What are you doing, Jake? You know, he used to play for this team a couple years ago. But it looks like all of his uh, his skill went into his coaching ability and not into his uh, his playing. Runner taking off from first, but hit foul yet again. Kavanaugh is going to get sent back, and Jake redeems himself. Oh, oh, oh. oh and two onto Dossus. Of course, it was a, you know, a battling 0 oh and two count that Dossus eventually won. And throw down to first is. Not in time. It's going to be a stolen bag, the second of the day for the sevens for Kavanaugh. One and two onto Dossus. And honestly, the sevens probably just trying to get people into scoring position as this is ripped into left field, but well fielded by the left fielder, Ben Leonard. It's going to hold Kavanaugh over at third base. But a one-out base hit for Tyler Dossis is going to continue his reign of terror at the plate. Going to bring up Shea Donovan, who reached on the pivotal error that really kick-started things for Ashland. Doss is going to move down to second, but an overthrow from the catcher, and Kavanaugh is going to come around to score. Seven to one, the Ashland lead here. And Dossus moves up to second. Third stolen base of the day. Now we're starting to see that aggressive base running from Coach Obed come out. It only took them five runs of insurance to stop being conservative on the base path, but now all bets are off. Shea Donovan at the plate now with a 2-0 and count. Pitch from Cookson, down the middle for strike one. Donovan hits this on the ground to the second baseman. Throw over to first is in time for out number two. That moves Dossus up to third base for Kevin Balowitz. Balowitz, of course, had a massive two RBI triple back in the fifth. But you got to imagine on a pass ball, Dossus is going home. He's got the speed to do it. Balowitz two for two and reached on an error in the dirt, 2-0. and Connor Donovan on the call tonight, and my cameraman is Tom Hamilton for this final game of Ashland 7's action. So that's outside for ball three. It's been a pleasure covering this team all season. They've been fantastic, and their opponents have been fantastic as well this Ashland-Medfield rivalry really coming to a head tonight. 
So that's a four pitch walk to Balowitz. It's gonna bring up Nick Larsh. Pitch from Cookson. This is hit on the ground. Slow roller to the second baseman. Throw over to first is good. Ashland plates a run, but Medfield has some work to do as they're down seven to one as we head to their final three outs. We'll see you then. Top of the seventh. Medfield down to their final three outs here. It's Tyler Doss is looking to go the complete game. And Jack Goodman in for Medfield. One and one, the count on him. Ashland still maintaining that seven to one lead. This is hit in the air to center field. No problem for Sam Farrell. That'll bring up Ryan Murray. It's one for two on the day. Doss is talking to the umpire a little bit. Pitch from Dossus down the middle for strike one. That's gas. Doss is probably just trying to clean this one up right now. Hit on the ground to the second baseman, fielded by Larsh. Throw over to Kavanaugh is good, out number two. And Ashland is one out away from becoming the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League champions for 2020. And it all rests on Mike Giglio. Or excuse me, it looks like we have a pinch hitter in there. Don't have the sub. It's one of the, uh, the sub list for Medfield. Wind up in the pitch from Doss. This is way high, but Doss is just throwing, he's throwing gas right now. He just wants to be done. Can't say as you blame him after going seven innings, the complete game. In all of his pitching appearances that we've seen of him, the past couple outings, he's gone complete games. In there for strike one, one and one. Two and one. Two outs, top of the seventh. Ashland, of course, the home team, so they can clean it up here. Outside, three and one. Down low for ball four. I think that's Dossett's first walk of the day, or no, second walk of the day. Gonna bring up Nick Sheehan, the leadoff. Sheehan one for three on the day. This is hit in the air over to Balowitz, and he makes the catch. Ashland are your Massachusetts Independent Baseball League champions taking this final outing over Medfield with a score of seven to one. And you see him celebrating over on the pitcher's mound, probably mobbing Dossus for pitching an incredible complete game. We'll have the uh, all the post game stats you could want when we return here on WACA TV in Ashland, HCAM in Hopkinton and HCAT in Holliston. We'll be right back. And that's going to do it here from Adams Field in Quincy. Ashland taking the title over a fantastic Medfield River Rats team with a final score of 7-1. to one. Your player of the game for Medfield has probably got to be Dennis Folan.
who scored the only run for Medfield. And for Ashland, it's got to be either Tyler Dossis, who had an amazing day with a three for four at the plate and his fantastic complete game pitching performance, or it's got to go to Kevin Balowitz for a blowing the game wide open in the bottom of the fifth with a two RBI triple. But either way, the, the glory is shared all around by this fantastic Ashland team. Again, I said it earlier, but it's been a pleasure to cover this team. Glad they got to play some baseball this summer. Uh, I'm Connor Donovan, and for my cameraman, Tom Hamilton, the final stat line we have for you here, Medfield scores one run on six hits, and Ashland scores 11, or excuse me, seven runs on 11 hits. We thank you very much for watching, and all the games from this season are up either on WACA TV in Ashland's YouTube page or on HCAM in Hopkinton's YouTube page. Again, the final score for the final time here from Adams Field, Ashland 7, Medfield 1. Ashland are your champions this year. We hope to see you again next year for some fantastic baseball. Take care, everybody.